I read in the Guardian newspaper from the UK that major French news media have decided to impose a publication ban on themselves, not to name or show pictures of any more Muslim terrorists. Le Monde, which is the French equivalent of the New York Times in terms of stature, has made the decision along with La Croix and Europe One Radio, which won't name the names of terrorists anymore. Now, the media say they don't want to glorify the murderers. I get that, but really, I mean, these media, and most media, love naming and showing every other sort of gross content. The more gross, the more macabre, the more gory, the better. Sells papers. It's not out of some new decorum, I can assure you. How many thousands of times did every liberal newspaper in the world and TV station publish the pictures of an atrocity committed by U.S. soldiers in Iraq at a terrorist prison called Abu Ghraib? Soldiers who were then prosecuted and jailed for their crimes, as they should have been. But how many times were those pictures shown to sell newspapers, and importantly for these liberal media, to whip up anti-American, anti-war sentiment? Yet now the very names of terrorists will be banned. Is it really so as not to incite copycats? Is that really why the Islamic State murders? Is it really not to glorify the murderers? No, of course not. It's to hide the identity of the terrorists as being Muslim. We even saw that in Canada last week when the Globe and Mail called the Munich terrorist David instead of his given name, Ali. Media comes from the Latin word for middle, as in the middleman. Their job is just to be the middleman bringing the facts of the world to us. But that's not what the news is today. They are a filter. They filter out things they don't want to tell us. They don't pass them on. They spin instead, they obfuscate. Right now, when there's a terrorist attack, the media will do anything to de-Islamize the attacker, hiding his name, denying he's a real Muslim, claiming it was just a regular crime or even a mental illness. They're not reporting the facts to you anymore. They're hiding the facts from you deliberately. Lamont just decided to make it a formal policy, that's all. Now, that was the story in The Guardian, a hard left-wing newspaper that has a big case of Islamophilia. Here's a slightly more candid report by the conservative Wall Street Journal. They say, could one imagine a stronger vector for terror? Forty members of the French parliament wrote to the head of France's media regulator last week. Four days later, TF1, another major French network, published selfies of the rampage suspect grinning next to the 21-ton truck he used to commit his massacre. Could one imagine more powerful glorification, the lawmakers wrote urging the regulator to remind media outlets of the need for prudence. Oh, so maybe it was self-censorship, as The Guardian suggested, or maybe, as The Wall Street Journal reports, it was the implicit threat by 40 members of the French Parliament demanding that the country's media regulator regulate the media. What a disgrace that France has a media regulator. But then again... Don't we here in Canada, through the CRTC, through the Canadian Broadcast Standards Council and our kangaroo court human rights commissions? Yeah, I think it was both, though. Journalists not wanting to report the truth about radical Islam and politicians not wanting them to either. I don't know why anyone would ever buy those newspapers again other than for the bottom of a bird cage. They just told you they don't trust you to handle the facts. So... They won't bother telling you the facts. Just example number 243 of why you can't trust the mainstream media. For the Rebel.media, I'm Ezra Levant. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.